After we have successfully deployed the webhook to Heroku Cloud, the next thing we will do, is configure the Facebook app, to use this webhook. Here, we choose, setting up your Facebook app. Before we get started, let's check out what we did. We create a Facebook page, then use the Facebook account, to log into the Facebook developer, then create a Facebook app. At the same time, we have also deployed a webhook Node.js to Heroku server, so now, we had a webhook URL. So basically, we have successfully configured the Facebook app. Here, to move to the next section, you can click on the onward to the quick start, or in the sidebar, we can click directly on this quick start section. In the previous videos, we have also configured the Facebook app, as well as generate the Facebook page access token. If you have not done these steps, you can review my videos, I will link to each video below the description. After we have built the Facebook webhook, we will find a way to get the ID of the person, who sent the message to our fan page. This ID, is called PSID, short for page scope ID. So, what is PSID? A person, is assigned a unique page scoped ID, for each Facebook page they start a conversation with. The PSID, is used to identify a person when sending messages. Here, we will copy this body. Back to our project. We will update the post webhook function in the chatbot controller. Paste the code we copied into this body. I will explain this post webhook function. When a user sends a message to the Facebook page, Facebook will send events to this webhook. If it was an event, sending a message to the fan page, we would get this event object, then print a sender PSID. At the same time, we responded to Facebook with status 200. In case it's not an event sent to the fan page, the server Node.js will respond with a 404, not found status. To test if our webhook is working, we will redeploy the app to Heroku. If our app is running, when the user sends a message to the Facebook page, we will see the ID of the person who sent the message. While waiting for the app to deploy to Heroku, we will configure the Facebook app to use the webhook, which we deployed to Heroku. We will open the Facebook app. Here, I am in the settings section of the Messenger product. We scroll to the webhook section. Select add callback URL. Callback URL, is your Heroku app link, then slash webhook, and what is verify token. This is our my verify token parameter. Copy the value of this parameter, and paste it here. So, what did Facebook do, when we press the button, verify and save? First, Facebook will send a GET request to our webhook, the Node.js server on Heroku. With the GET method, and the endpoint slash webhook, the server Node.js will call the GET webhook function. In this function, we will check for the parameter, my verify token. Here, we send the correct verify token, so server Node.js will respond with status 200, so Facebook knows, that our webhook is active, and it will accept this webhook. Finally, click verify and save. Wait a moment for Facebook to confirm our request. If you successfully configured the webhook, the link of the webhook will appear here. The next step, is to register to receive events from Facebook. Here, we will subscribe to the following events. Messaging, to receive user messages sent to fan page. We use standby, and messaging handovers events, to turning on, off the chatbot. Messaging post back events, will occur when a post back button, get started button, or persistent menu item is tapped. Next, we will enable natural language processing for chatbots. Select the Facebook page, then enable this toggle. I will mention natural language processing feature for chatbots in the next videos. After we have configured the webhook for the Facebook app, 
it's time to check if this webhook works or not. Going back to our code, the application has successfully deployed to Heroku. At the same time, we also open a tab to see the Heroku logs. We have webhook verify message, because just earlier, we have authenticated webhook with Facebook. To check, please open the Facebook page. Then, send a message to your fan page, then check Heroku logs. We got the ID of the person, who sent the message to Facebook page. At the same time, this is the content of the message we received. So, in this video, we set up the webhook for the Facebook app, and the Facebook webhook is working well. Now, we can get the sender ID, PSID, who send messages to our Facebook page. In the next video, we will handle text and attachment messages. If you have any errors during doing this video, please let me know by comment below this video. Have a good day, and see you in the next videos.